All right, so all the old foam is off. Note to self, don't ever use cheapo foam and don't spray too much of the Gorilla Glue spray on crap because that's why. Look at this, oh my gosh. That is gonna be a pain in the butt to be able to clean off that wall. Don't buy cheapo foam boards. So it is a couple days later. I had to wait on the paint to be able to uh, repaint this whole wall. Um, you'll still notice I have my command strips here, but I think really all I'm going to do is take a brush and roller and just kind of fix up some of these spots here that you can visibly see. And I took one of these little scrapers and just kind of like took off some of the foam that was still stuck on the wall. The dresser that used to sit here is broken. <laughs> I was trying to uh, move it out of the way so I can get to this wall um, and it fell apart and landed on me and I kind of wish I got it on camera but unfortunately that happened. I'm going to take a little brush kind of go over some spots first and then I'm going to take the roller and just completely go all the way up and down this wall while that first coat is going to be uh, drying. Okay sound good let's do it. some paint. I was like, uh-oh. Holy moly, those are a pain in the ass. Okay, no, again, note to self, don't use crappy ass foam. Cause that is a, uh, that looks fun to take off. Yeesh. I had to take uh, the desk out of here just so I can repaint this wall. I am going to have to move this out of the way for a minute so that I can also paint this side of the wall. I still want to say something real quick about this. 
This is the current PC. Now, if you guys haven't seen the build on this computer here, this thing is an absolute unit. But I never had a chance to clean this thing. Ew. I, I keep forgetting to do it, so I think this is a great time to um, at least clean up the fan ports there. Maybe dust off the top a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's hard to see it. There's some scratches on here. And the camera can't pick it up, but I can see it. But I'm going to give this thing a polish while the wall's drying. Clean it all up, get rid of the dust, and then go back to business here. Well, dang it, how am I supposed to get out of here now? Yeah, yeah, get. Oh, excuse me. Oh, did it. One month and several weeks of nonsensical accumulative construction later. Dang guys, I think the new office setup looks really clean. A lot of items used to sit on an old shelf are now on this new shelf, which is kind of a Japanese style wooden slash steel uh, shelf, which I actually like. We got this side that's all music stuff. There is going to be a couple of items that are going to be put up there, but I haven't made them yet. So they are going to be sitting in between these posters here. The only thing I need to finish up on this wall is to get another one of these little strip lights. Uh, one over the Doom, the Nerf shotgun I mean, and then one over the Plasma Cutter and Ebony and Ivory. 
kind of like where the printer sits now it's in between the work the editing desk and the crafting desk which is perfect right now I got some stuff being printed which you guys will see in a YouTube short possibly down the line I do have the dead space suit just kind of laying around so there's the rig and then there's the helmet sitting over there hooked up to a USB port eventually you guys will see in the videos where I'm going to be posting here and the cameras facing up against the shelf there will be a mannequin displaying the dead space suit off to the side here so some of this equipment is going to be moved around Maybe that lamp can be on this side, or I'll try to condense it down and hide it somewhere. But the mannequin I'm going to get is going to sit right here, displaying the dead space suit. I kind of like what I did with the crafting section. Um, all my tools and stuff, like scissors, cutting materials, wire splicers, everything is up on this pegboard. Or peg? Is this peg or, car or cork? I think it's cork. I'm not sure. But it's all up on this now, so I can just take it off the rack. And then put it back when I don't need it and it keeps the desk from being so cluttered full of random tools and materials or for being stuck inside these little drawers here where I can't even find them I did 3d print some of these little pegs that the girls sit on and they're just these little gun holders I found randomly online and they were free files so I scaled them down a little bit just so that they can fit the two guns and I can display them right next to each other. But I was able to find these free as well. There were a couple of files that on the Creality app and I 3D printed them to be able to hold up the Nerf shotgun. I want to give a shout out to Carly King. If you guys don't know who she is, she's a massive Star Wars fan and after seeing the video I was like this is brilliant. Why hasn't anybody thought of it other than her? I got one of these little $16 command strips but these can hold up brooms but also they can hold up your lightsabers on the wall, which is brilliant. Not sure what I'm going to do with the Spidey suit yet. I am considering of remaking this entire thing, but in my own design. For now, they will just sit here in the closet doors, just like Shigul and Shadow's new jacket. I got another mannequin. I don't really have another spot for it, unless I move the guitar out of the way. So I don't know, you guys let me know what you want me to do with the Spider-Man series. When is the last time you guys ever saw Shovel Knight? This is actually my original Shovel Knight helmet that I made out of cardboard. Still holding up, and this is all plastic horns off a of Viking helmet. The only things I've done to this outfit, which I haven't done a video about, was remade the entire armor out of foam. And updated the, I guess, the hip plates too. So those are all foam and wrapped in yellow foam. I kind of miss the character. I haven't done a lot of videos about him. And I wish I did a video about the build on this, but you guys get to see him more often in the background. Really liked what I did with the foam on this side. Instead of it being sideways, it's all straight now, and it's still kept up with that horizontal and vertical pattern. Um, these are just foam boards I chopped in half and kind of made some space for little spots like this and in the corner there. But there you go. That is the new office setup. Took a little bit of time to do. Um, I know it took like a month and a couple weeks to build all this stuff and collect it, you know, because I had to collect the shelf and a few other things. Um, but I like it. I think it turned out really good. It's a new visual for me every time I come in the office space. Um, a new fresh start for several years to come. Currently working on part two of the Dante costume, so that's going to be coming up hopefully in the next month. Um, I am also going to be going to um, Spooky Empire in a couple weeks. I don't know how much I'll film, however, there is a specific character that I haven't brought to a convention yet that I would like to try out, make sure everything works, and to show off. So I will do a special Spooky Empire starring that specific character. Um, probably a shorter video, it'd be a funny one, so look forward to that. I really appreciate you guys on patience and blowing up the Katana video. I had no idea that was going to blow up, and I really do appreciate that. We are just past over 800 subscribers, and I just now noticed that. I've been focused on so much stuff here that I haven't even noticed we reach over 800 subscribers. That is insane. That is very hard to do, especially with YouTube's um, algorithm and the way everything works. So I really do appreciate that. If we get to 1,000, I do have some really cool stuff that I do want to give back to you guys if we reach to 1,000 subscribers. And at this rate, it looks like we might hit. But I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to get back to working on some small stuff here. If you guys enjoyed this little tiny video, be sure to give it a fat thumbs up. 
Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you guys at Spooky Empire. And as always, I will see you goons later. Uh, okay, I had to record because I, I forgot what the damn thing said. Okay. One month and... Frick! What? Damn, that's hard to do. One month and several weeks of nonsensical accumulative construction later. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Why is this vocabulary is brilliant.